Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Monday the 17th of November. Thanks again for watching. Uh, you know the last few days we've been talking about cooler conditions and how um, we're watching a stratospheric warming event that may bring some cooler conditions. Just want to firm up on that a little bit today, show you the latest of what's going on. But it's interesting to see how the models are handling things as well. This is from uh, the GFS model from weatheronline.co.uk and the time uh, of validity of these charts up here in the top left hand corner. So what this is showing us today, we've got low pressure uh, centred um, over the south of the country here during the course of the day. That's what brought outbreaks of rain through Monday. Now what I want you to notice is the area of high pressure here off towards the east. Just watch what happens with that. As the sequence runs through, you notice how the high builds into the UK. Now I think what this is going to do is bring about some cooler conditions as we head into the back end of the week uh, for a time. Thursday looks to be a Pretty cool, damp, dark, miserable day. You notice the flow there goes into the south or the southwest. Outbreaks of rain coming through during the course of Saturday and into Sunday as well across southern areas. And then the GFS trying to build, look, the high back in, getting it over the country through Sunday and into Monday. Temperature's never that cold, I have to stress. Um, but the kind of variations in temperature, exactly you'd expect to see this time of year, typically dependent on cloud amounts. And then what the GFS tries to do from the middle to the latter stages of next week is basically break through the Atlantic and bring more unsettled conditions. That's what the ensemble does to temperatures. Uh, you see here holding steady through the course of this week, yeah, picking up a little bit at the weekend and then dropping off again as we head into next week. But what I want to show you here is the ECMWF operational, show you what that does. It's different to the GFS. So this is the ECMWF uh, valid from last night and these go forward in 24 hour steps. So that's tonight, Tuesday, that's going into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now look what happens here. It's building this ridge, look, pumping north, this warm air coming off the med, builds, builds the ridge in here, digs the trough through into here, and then through the course of the weekend, look, tries to maintain that south or southeasterly. And eventually what it does, let's just go back one, is this ridge here, which continues to pump northwards here and build through the course of uh, Sunday and then into Monday, buckles the ridge. We get two ridge effects building, one here, we've got one in here, look. We get a cutoff load going down over Spain and then into next week, it maintains the southeasterly. And it says, look, that high is not going very far very quickly. It then keeps the high in place right at the end of the forecast period here, which is the 26th. There's the jet coming in across the Atlantic, digging down here and splitting, feeding cold air into this system all the time. Another section of the jet goes north here and allows this block that you see across Scandinavia there to try and get back eastwards, tries to move it back eastwards. And that in turn buckles the flow out here in the Atlantic, digs this down here and brings the jet round like that. So this low here zips down here like so and puts the UK on the cold side of that low. Now I don't want to go OTT on the top with cold or possibility of cold here at the moment. Again, it's still a 20 or 30% chance. And I don't think the ECMWF has the detail. I don't think any of the models have got the details yet. But uh, it's interesting that that sequence of, <coughs> excuse me, development is taking place. This is the uh, GM, the Canadian, and this goes forward in 12 hour steps. And you notice here, look, similar thing with that ridge building off towards the east, then into the weekend tries to get in. But the Canadian is far more certain that actually the mild southwesties will be able to break through and we won't see any cold conditions at all. It leaves us with that on the 26th. It actually has the jet through here and keeps low pressure up towards the north, keeping us on the mild side of things, but unsettled. So you see where there's a big difference here playing out between the various different models. The, the uh, seven to 10 day 500 millibar means looking like this, high pressure off towards the EC or higher than normal heights towards the east on both the ECMWF and on the GFS. Building trough in the Atlantic look, 
the uh, GFS Ensemble actually making this feature a sharper feature and a tendency to pulling southeasterly winds uh, off the Atlantic during the course uh, of this forecast period, which, as I say, is the back end of next week. Uh, in, sorry, is the beginning of next week into the back end of next week, taking us into the end of November. So, how does that fit into the signals we're seeing from the stratosphere at the moment? Well, this is the temperature analysis from last night and a fairly normal looking feature apart from this area here starting to warm now look at the 10 day just look what's happened significant warming taking place in here the uh, polar vortex getting squeezed of sorts pushing south but interestingly we've got a split here the warming manages to get into the middle here so actually this is fairly significant it's another piece of the jigsaw hinting that we could go into cold conditions and i think it would be probably late november very very late november early parts of december but i have to say this is by no means a forecast yet again i stress this is only a 20 or a 30 percent confidence level in this but we are starting to see some signs both from the uh, stratospheric temperatures and from the operational models that something just something maybe a foot <coughs> excuse me um cfs looking like this week one brings the trough out towards the west look here there's the ridge that we're seeing off towards the east now interestingly week two still maintains the ridge off towards the east there's the trough look and there's the ridge off towards the east week three from the first of december to the seventh of december this is when we start to get interested in it there's the ridge pumping south into the trough here ridge here as well pumping northwards building the heights all the time probably building high pressure up here somewhere and tending into an east or southeast leap flow so some hints there of cool weather it's not cold it's cool weather but then look at this week four high the normal heights down towards the south there's a high of sorts going to be up here another one down here and what we what we would find if that happened is an easterly flow like so pushing the trough keeping it out towards the west in here what that does is it just allows the northwesterly flow just to deepen this trough off all the time buckles the flow and gets the ridge building up here pumping it northwards all the time and building the high underneath now interestingly the jet is screaming across the top here so we're not actually seeing real depths of coal developing out here across eastern europe but it would be cold enough to send those easterly winds in and would be cold enough to make things chilly across the uk in that early part of december i have to stress once again though this at the moment is not an official forecast it's just the building of the jigsaw of the bits and pieces that are coming together and are showing themselves at the moment on the forecast charts of course we'll keep you updated throughout here at weatherweb.net now if you want to find out how we've got to this stage and you've not seen the earlier videos then uh, you can subscribe to us on YouTube you can view all the previous videos on there or you can watch the videos through the website at weatherweb.net but whatever you're doing thanks again for watching and uh, keep the sun shining bye for now